This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at a public workout for Boatsy Riches on the undercard this Saturday night at the O2. It's John Edges coming off his career best performance last time. How do you go one better, John? Same thing again, Omar. Please God, uh, push for the stoppage. and Or if it's not the stoppage, just put an absolute masterclass in and just show improvement. That's the main thing at my age. Yeah, almost punch perfect last time. Would you go along with that? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, the, the, the higher you step up an opponent, the harder work it's going to be. But I think the better the opponent, I'll step up as well. So I've got an undefeated fighter this time and please God, I'll do the same result. But apart from him being unbeaten, what else do you know about him? To be honest with you, I don't know a lot. A bit of a late, late change of opponent. I was fighting uh, John Ryder's previous opponent, Joseph Jerko, and then he took a title fight, which can't blame him, so fair play to him. Um, but hopefully we'll get that on again down the line. So, yeah, it's good. Why did it go so well for you last time under them lights? I prepped well, um, done everything I was told, and I think that it just pays off in, pays off in the night. Like I was, I'm in the gym six times a week, and the Sundays I have off, I still train. So I'll put, I'll put the work in, and I'm just hoping that's, that's, that's enough. I'll give it me all, and there you go. Like, well, uh, SJAM and uh, Eddie are keeping you very active, so this experience going into the back end this year and next year when you start getting into proper live fights is going to stand you a good stead, this experience. Exactly. I'm young, so I need as much experience as possible. I'm not naive to that. I need to be in that ring. More, more ring time, the better. The more big occasions, the better. It's only getting me prepared for the long run, so I can't thank them enough. Do you know what I mean? They're getting me out. They're keeping me active, so thanks, Eddie, and thanks, SJAM. So when I was in New York a couple of weeks ago, go back to my hotel room, done some bits with Eddie and Jake Paul on camera, go on my Instagram, and I just see John Edges and Jake Paul over my timeline. What was going on there? Oh, mate, it was, uh, do you know what? When he called out under 10 fights, I'd be stupid not to jump on that face. You know what I mean? Listen, I'd love to have a crack at Jake, like anyone would, but it's, it's the same. It's pie in the sky to anything happens. I've got to build a bigger name for myself before he would even be thinking about that. So I'm not, I'm not stupid to, I'm not naive to it, but it creates a good bit of press and uh, it gets me name out there. I feel like there was a man over there called Chev Clark really benefited off as well. But I think after that, it was you. And listen, it's just a bit of harmless kind of banter, but it does help one's profile. So your, your backers in SJAM and, and Matram are, are going to want you to do that, John. Yeah, exactly that, Umar. Um, just by putting a silly little thing out, Daily Mirror got hold of it, and a couple of other newspapers. So the more, more papers, the better at the end of the day. They expose yours. And, and they say no publicity is bad publicity. So I just want to get out there. And if I can get out there at my age now, by the time I'm 25, 26, you'd like to think I'm a big household name. What were your thoughts on uh, Jake Paul saying he could beat anyone of Eddie Earn's stable? Bit of a bold statement. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Statements like that is a bum statement. But listen, the fella can fight. I ain't going to knock him. I think, I think he can have a go. I can't lie to you. I think he can have a go. And at the end of the day, when, when you can devote your life and you ain't got to worry about other things on the side and proper train with the best trainers, you're going to be half decent. But bold statements saying them things but if he proves it it's not a bold statement he believes his hype and there you go but no listen he's fair play he's he's not as bad as what everyone makes out but love that fight once again <laughs> well listen uh, yeah you got a, a fight this Saturday night you got a showcase your skills like you did last time in front of your fans I'm sure you've done good tickets once again and uh, yeah we look forward to watching you live on the zone at the O2 this Saturday night thank you very much for your time cheers Omar thanks boys Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Day. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.